Brought to you by B Pod, the podcast channel of Sanasia Holiday. Bon Ock Fansa, the magical traditional festival of Laos. When the three months of Buddhist Lent come to an end in October, it is the perfect time to visit temples and celebrate the end of the rainy season. In Laos, this is called Bon Ock Fansa and various religious and local traditions can be observed during this time. Moreover, there are plenty of festive activities are organized throughout the country with floating flower boats, candles, fireworks, lavishly decorated wats and an old-time carnival. All make for a magical Bon Ock Fansa festival in Vientiane, Laos. What is Bon Ock Fansa? Bon Ock Fansa is the celebration of the last day of Buddhist Lent. It happens annually in October, three lunar months after Cao Fansa on the 15th day of the 11th month of the lunar calendar. When Bon Ock Fansa arrives, people line up at temples early in the morning and offer gifts to the monks. There are also candlelight processions around temples, and small decorative boats filled with flowers, lit candles, and incense are set out on the Mekong River. The whole river seems to light up. What is Bone Cao Fansa? Bone Cao Fansa in Laos is the start of the three-month period sometimes referred to as Buddhist Lent. Bone Cao Fansa starts on the full moon of the eighth month and runs till the full moon of the eleventh month of the Buddhist calendar. During this time period, Buddhist monks stay at a pagoda and focus on meditation and strict observance of their religion. They are especially forbidden from sleeping anywhere else but in their pagoda at night. On Bone Cao Fansa, People of villages throughout Laos bring food offerings in bowls to the pagoda-bound monks, a practice called, Tok Bat. Tok Bat means, morning offering, and indeed, these offerings are brought in the morning hours. There are other rituals performed by the people and monks on Bone Cao Fansa, such as the blessing of, holy water, which is then poured out onto the earth, candlelight processions around Buddhist temples, and neighborhood, drumming competitions. Follow the link in the article for more detail about Bone Cao Fansa. What is Buddhist Lent? That said, Ak Fansa marks the end of the Buddhist Lent, which originates from Buddhism period called Vasa. The Vasa is the three-month annual retreat observed by Theravada practitioners. Taking place during the wet season, Vasa lasts for three lunar months, usually from July, the Burmese month of Waso, to October, the Burmese month of Thottingyut. In English, Vasa is often glossed as Rains Retreat or Buddhist Lent, the latter by analogy to the Christian Lent, which Vasa predates by at least five centuries. For the duration of Vasa, monastics remain in one place, typically a monastery or temple grounds. In some monasteries, monks dedicate the Vasa to intensive meditation. Some Buddhist lay people choose to observe Vasa by adopting more ascetic practices, such as giving up meat, alcohol, or smoking. While Vasa is sometimes casually called, Buddhist Lent, others object to this terminology. Commonly, the number of years a monk has spent in monastic life is expressed by counting the number of vases, or reigns, since ordination. Most Mahayana Buddhists do not observe Vasa, though Vietnamese Thien and Korean Son monastics observe an equivalent retreat of three months of intensive practice in one location, a practice also observed in Tibetan Buddhism. Vasa begins on the first day of the waning moon of the eighth lunar month, which is the day after Asala Puja or Asala Uposita, Dhamma Day. It ends on Pavarana, when all monastics come before the Sangha and atone for any offense that might have been committed during Vasa. Vasa is followed by Kathina, a festival in which the laity expresses gratitude to monks. Lay Buddhists bring donations to temples, especially new robes for the monks. The Vasa tradition predates the time of Gautama Buddha. It was a long-standing custom for mendicant ascetics in India not to travel during the rainy season as they may unintentionally harm crops, insects or even themselves during their travels. Many Buddhist ascetics live in regions which lack a rainy season. Consequently, there are places where Vasa may not be typically observed. Follow the link in the article for more detail about Buddhist Lent. Activities during Bone Ock Fansa When Bone Ock Fansa arrives, People line up at temples early in the morning and offer gifts to the monks. There are also candlelight processions around temples, and small decorative boats filled with flowers, lit candles, and incense are set out on the Mekong River. The whole river seems to light up. And people also make beautiful paper lanterns and light them up at night in one location. 
Thus, the sky and the river are set aglow. Finally, this is also the time of the final boat racing festival in Xiing Nuan, near Luang Prabang, and in Vientiane since the rains will soon stop and the water levels of the Mekong and other rivers recede. Traditionally, Bon Ok Fansa is a time to honor the river spirit of the Mekong. It is thought that sickness, bad luck, and everything negative can be sent away into the river. Below are the three most famous festivals celebrated during Bon Ok Fansa. Bon Lai Hua Phi, the Festival of Light. On the full moon day at dawn, donations and offerings are made at temples around the country. In the evening, candlelight processions are held around the temples and it is the celebration of Lai Hua Phi, or Loi Kra Thong, when everyone sends small lighted boats, made of banana stems or banana leaves decorated with candles and flowers down the rivers. These are said to pay respect to the Buddha and to thank the Mother of Rivers for providing water for our lives. Some believe that the Lai Hua Phi procession is an act to pay respect to Nagas that lives in the rivers, while others send the lighted boats down the river to ask for blessing and to float bad luck of the past year away enabling the good luck to flow in. Most towns with a river bank nearby will engage in this lovely ceremony. In bigger towns there are also processions of lighted boats, and the ceremony is more popular especially among young romantic couples. Villagers who live far from rivers set up model boats, made of banana stems, decorated with flowers and candlelight, while others simply light up some candles in front of their houses and do their little prayer wishing for good luck. These colorful rituals have been carried on by Lao people for thousands of years. The Naga Fireballs In addition, the evening of the Ak Fansa day is the day the celebrated Naga Fireballs are supposed to appear. The Naga Fireballs are a phenomenon peculiar to the Mekong. The Naga is a mythical water dragon believed to live in the Mekong and on the night of 15th day of 11th month in the Lao lunar calendar at the end of Buddhist Lent, he is supposed to shoot up pink-red fireballs to signify the occasion. Some believe, while others doubt they are real. Still today there is a festival surrounding this time and certain areas of both the Thai and Lao sides of the river are packed out with willing sightseers, who also take the time to enjoy the multitude of food and drink stands which spring up to cater for them during their wait. This extraordinary phenomenon occurs in the area of the Mekong River stretching over 20 kilometers between Pak Num district, about 80 kilometers south of the Lao capital Vientiane, and Phonphasai district in Nong Kai province, Thailand. In Laos you can hire a private taxi or truck to take you in from the site, but be prepared for traffic jams and crowds. Bone Suong Hua, Boat Racing Festival the day of the boat racing festival in Vientiane is spectacular. The town comes alive with noise and festivity as the teams make their way to the river either by truck or walking, banging drums and singing. The races start around 9 am when the heats kick off. Thousands of spectators cram along the river banks and cheer their teams. The streets are lined with food stalls, sideshows where you can win small prizes and stalls selling all manner of clothes and other items. The final happens around mid-afternoon, by which time everyone is normally quite merry. Follow the link in the article for more detail about Bone Suong Hua, Boat Racing Festival in Laos. When is Bone Ok Fansa? Like other festival in Laos, Bone Ok Fansa follows the lunar calendar of Laos, so the date in Gregorian calendar changes every year. To help you better plan your journey, we have the date of the festival on our website, please check for your reference. Thanks for listening, hope you enjoy our podcast today. For further information and support, contact our team via email at info at holidaycom or call our hotline number, plus 84-8986-23733. Available on WhatsApp. To stay tuned with the latest podcasts, subscribe to our mailing list and follow our media networks on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, or LinkedIn. Wish you all the best and hope to have you again in our upcoming podcasts. Goodbye for now.